I'm excited to go to the rehab today with Chris so I can start working on myself. Dr. Smith wants me to lose at least 100 pounds at the rehab, which I hope to do in three or four months. The staff is there to support me, but ultimately, it's my decision what I eat and when I exercise. Yeah, I'm nervous, but if I don't go to this facility, I'm going to die, and I'm not ready to die. Let's get you stuff in. Taking Tammy to this facility is one of the last options we have because she just needs help that we're not able to give. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Tammy has been put in nursing homes before, but it really wasn't fit for her. She's hard to deal with when she's not happy, too. Hopefully, we don't have problems with that this round. Don't be too much of an ass to these people. <laughs> they that mother you can be rough. <laughs> Just remember, they're here to help you no matter how much they are pushing you and you get mad at them. You know, I pray Tammy stays at the facility and gets the help she needs. Her weight can still continue to go up. So if she don't do what she needs to do, she's going to eat herself into the grave. I love the nurses here. They love giving me crap, but in a good way. Yeah. Potatoes, green beans, sugar-free juice. The food here sucks. It's bland. No flavor. And the savings are really small compared to what I'm used to. Here, they would only give me one sandwich. And back home, I'd eat like three or four. Sounds My knees are grinding, the bones grind. So the whole therapy where you like, stand up, sit down, kills my knees. But I stuck it out as long as I could. I'm not giving up. I'm not ready to throw in a towel. It's one of the best moves I've ever made. Now that I'm single and I can work on myself, I'm not worried about if I do something wrong or not getting my lover's approval. I've been in rehab for two weeks now. It's been rough, rough. Yeah. Walking farther, doing core exercises, arm exercises, leg exercises, just all the exercises. <laughs> all right, you're normal. It's about 70 feet, so we want to go a little bit further than that. Mm -hmm. 50 feet right now. Keep going. Make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. They had me doing a lot of exercises and trying to get me to walk more. How winded do you feel? Very. Scale of one to 10, with 10 being the worst. I'm pushing myself, but it's really hard. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. When I first got here, I couldn't hardly walk through the threshold. But I've been working on trying to step away from the walker. I am moving around more. Now I can do it and not be so out of breath. Yeah, I get out of breath. Clearly, I'm still on oxygen. But it's not as bad. OK, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Today's my eight-week weigh-in. 
When you get on it and stand, just drop your arms. Yeah, I'm nervous. Let's do it. When I got here, I weighed 689 pounds. Dr. Smith wants me to lose 100 pounds while I'm here. I work so hard, and I just don't know if it's going to pay off. 631.3. How do you feel about that? Okay, okay. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is. I'm down 60 pounds. Honestly, I didn't think I could get that much off. That's progress. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. How do you feel about it? You feel pretty good? Yeah, I mean, it's hard work and it's paying off. How are you feeling? I can conquer the world. Today, I want to talk to the administrator, Kelly, because I made a big decision. OK, Tammy, we're eight weeks in, and I wanted to see where you were thinking about. Not, I mean, I'm homesick. I miss my bed. I miss my family. So I think I'm ready to go. I want to try to get the rest of the way off on my own. Tammy, are you sure that you're ready to go home on your own without support and face all the temptations when you get there by yourself? Yes. And I was supposed to lose 100 pounds, but 60 is a great start. I've been here long enough. I've seen what to do. I just got to do it. You have to get that meal prep and not order out and stay in your calorie count diet. I mean, if I was to order out, it'd be like one burger and not anything else. You feel like when you go home, you're gonna, you think you're start to order out again? So you're not gonna- If I just get one burger mm -hmm. a day. See, I worry about that part. You know, ordering out is gonna be the biggest obstacle that I think that you're gonna have. I feel that if Tammy would stay, we could continue giving her the tools to not order out, to continue just to stick to her diet a little bit longer. I worry about Tammy when there's not somebody there to help her make those good decisions. When I dropped Tammy off, I had high hopes that she was actually going to take the right step forward. But she hasn't made her 100 pound weight go yet. So doubts are really setting in if she's gonna stick to the diet after she gets home. It's cold. Hey, Tammy. How's it going? Yeah, good. Are you sure you wanna come home? I'm just worried about you falling off the wagon. I mean, I understand your concern, but I wanna do it on my own. I think Chris needs to have a little bit more faith in me. Just because I'm going home does not mean I wanna just give up. I'm going to lose weight. I am losing weight. I just need a little faith and willpower. <laughs> Kelly, do you have any advice on the situation? I just think that she's gonna need people there that can back her up and to help her say no. She's done really good here. The only thing that I was a little worried about, she was talking about ordering out burgers. A couple times, Tammy cheated, but she feels like she's been given the tools that she can say no to the cheating. I just hope that she continues on the path that she's on here right now. I just want her to do good. She's done so well. I just want her to continue in, on the path that she's on, going in the right direction. I think she's gonna need a lot of support. Tammy's an addict, and there's no difference between a food addiction than a heroin addiction. They got to want to get better. Forcing Tammy to stay there, she's not going to do anything the doctors want, and she's liable to get kicked out of the facility if, if we put her in that situation. Ow. Remember what I told you. Yeah. Just keep saying no, yeah. OK? <laughs> if you need us for anything, call us. OK, good luck. Thank you. All right. Have Thank a safe you. trip. Thank you. You ready for this long ride back, Tammy? Yes. Ooh, Tammy, we home, by God. We got to go question Brittany and then Tammy. 
As we pull up to the house, Amy, Michael, and Gage were sitting outside. About time, I missed a little bit of oak. Yeah. Even though I don't agree with Tammy coming home, I still wanted to make the place right and make her feel like she was missed because that's what sisters do, even though one sister does it more than the other. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I just hope that she will do what she needs to do. My heart is telling me that she's going to go back on the way she was, but my head is telling me try to be optimistic. <laughs> Don't use big words that you can't say. <laughs> Amy, does Tammy look like she's lost some weight? I can't really tell she's with fine. my blindness. <laughs> if she loses a lot, lot, like over 300, I could probably tell. But 60, I can't really tell. And I'm not trying to be mean about it, I just can't. Is my eyesight going bad too? Because she ain't lost no weight. I'm trying, damn. So what all did you like and dislike about rehab? Nobody likes anything about rehab, but the friends. Sure wasn't a fool. They didn't have nothing that you liked? No. What, what some... were they serving that you didn't like? Beets, corn. Anything that wasn't real food. It just didn't have flavor. What is the plan? To lose the weight. I gave up a lot of the carbs and the sweets. You want to do this for yourself, but you got to show us that you can do it. OK. I'm working on it. Tammy left rehab early, but now she's annoyed everybody's giving her a lecture. But we only want the best for you. You injured this rehab on your own conuses. Conuses. Whatever it's called. You injured on your own risk, and you didn't even stick it out all the way. That shows that you're not fully ready yet. Y'all just need to give me some more credit and give me a little more faith. Faith? Whoo! Ain't none of us here walked on water, so, you know, we ain't got a lot. Chris likes to talk a lot of shit, but apparently he's gained way back. It's not fair that they're jumping my butt. Chris has put on the weight I lost. Jump his butt. Don't I seem different? OK, but you was in a controlled environment for That's the last right. seven weeks. Uh, just do what I can to keep the stuff I'm not supposed to have out of my house. I don't mind going and get you stuff. Just don't call me 50 times. That's all I'm saying. I want my food. I fucking have it. Where you at? I want my food. The tension that Tammy and Amy got is a love-hate relationship. They don't know how to act. Tammy, when she asks for something, she wants it done now. And as inconsiderate of what Amy's really got going on, she just wants what she wants. Well, I can't go over to your house all the time like I was. It's just not possible with Gage and everything I got going on. So I think a home health nurse would be the best option. Quit being lazy and pushing the issue of the nurse. I'm not a child. I don't need a babysitter. I think it's a great idea. Somebody to come in and help her, you know, meal prep or whatever. You know, I think getting somebody to help her take her places so she can get some exercise in. And get out and move around, be more mobile. Yeah, you know, being getting out of the house, not being cooped up. My family acts like I'm invisible. They treat me like a dang on animal. I'm their sister, a human. They would want to be treated with respect and dignity. So why can't I get the same treatment? There's no way. Timmy, we are here to support you any way possible. But at the same token, we ain't taking no bull I agree. I've been taking care of Tammy three years, but now, I need to be there with my son. 
I have a family. You're a part of that family, but yet he needs me more. I decided next week we'll be interviewing home health nurses. You dumbass. You're finna make me mad, Amy. Stop. Nobody said this was over. It is for me, bitch. <clears throat> yep, yeah, bye, bitch. Mm, God.